That little brown angelfish goes for almost $6,000. Coming up in this FinCast, the story behind it and how you could have one. When I use Chemipure, I see results as far as clean tanks, uh, less water changes, um, reduced nutrients, uh, just an overall great product. And how long have you been using Chemipure? Uh, going on 10 years. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. We're at MACNA 2017 in New Orleans and I'm with Matt Wittenrich, uh, who had kind of disappeared from the hobby, but he's been one of the leading researchers in aquaculture in the hobby for a long, long time. And you've got a new venture called, is it Palma or Poma Labs? Oh, it's Poma Labs, yeah, Poma Labs. All right. And that comes from the name of the fish? Well, it's actually the, the, the family of the fish. The family is Poma Canthidae, so Poma is short for that. Wittenrich teamed up with Nuri Fisher, the man behind Pisene Energetics, which makes PE Mysis, to launch Poma Labs. So I'm going to ask you to tell me a little bit about your most expensive angelfish in here. Okay, that's the, the conspicuous angelfish. This is the holy grail among uh, angelfish collectors. Uh, and, it, and it has kind of a, a reverse uh, availability. You know, big adults are readily, I wouldn't say readily, but they're mostly available from the wild. And the smaller they get, the rarer they become. So anything under two inches is pretty much unheard of in the American trade. Um, so fish this size, I don't know that they've ever been imported to the state. So for people to see an angelfish or a conspic angelfish this small is unheard of. Our, our debut at MACNA, we, we are launching nine species of angelfish on the website. So I think it's pretty, pretty cool to have nine species of captive bred angelfish available. We brought three of them to the show. And, you know, the one that's getting the biggest buzz is the conspicuous angelfish. You know, this is one of the holy growls in the aquarium trade. And it's, it's pretty cool. It's considered the ugly duckling when it's little. You know, they're little brown guys. They're, they're beautiful in their own right, but they don't look as beautiful as they do when they mature into the adult phase. And that's where it gets pricey. The conspicuous angelfish goes for more than $5,000. Well, uh, as a holy grail, it comes with a, a holy grail price tag. So these guys are, are selling at uh, $5,800. So, and they have, a, you know, the little ones like this, the collectors in the wild never see them. Um, fish this small, I don't think one this small has ever been imported into the States. And, and if it has, I, I think it's sold for a, a pretty good penny. So I, I think it's worth it. Just like any product, consumers really need to bear the cost of research and development, and captive breeding of marine fish is still unpredictable and time-consuming. Uh, for sure, yeah, the, the Conspic Angels has actually been a four-year project. Uh, it was a pretty difficult thing. You know, not a whole lot of them are imported to the States, so to find two that actually get along and you find a male and female, it's a pretty tedious process. And so, and ultimately, that leads up to getting eggs and getting uh, uh, viable eggs, and then trying to figure out what to feed and how to raise the, the larvae. So it's a pretty long journey. Yeah, but uh, captive breeding has come far over the last few years. We're seeing a lot of new species, and, uh, and hopefully it, the game is changing. In this aquarium, the tiny fish are Singapore angels, which cost $115. The yellow-faced fish are blue-lined angels, which go for $505. And the brown fish are the conspicuous. That's where it gets real pricey and you get a 30-day guarantee. We want people to succeed. We want the fish to live, and we want fish or people to have fish for a long time. Though expensive, these fish are more likely to thrive in your tank than wild-caught fish. Yeah, this is a completely different animal. You know, number one is that this fish is trained to eat pellets before it leaves the hatchery. Um, you know, in the wild, these guys eat, um, you know, sponges and tunicates. So the fact that they eat pellets right away is a, is a really big advantage for people. Um, you know, what we're seeing is they seem much more docile. If you can see in the tank, there's a lot of angelfish in there cruising around, and we don't see a whole lot of aggression. And that's something, you know, the general rule is you're only allowed to have one, or two, one angelfish per tank. Um, so one thing we're actually offering, too, is bonded pairs, where we actually raise the fish, uh, two fish together in a small tank, and that forces a, a social hierarchy to make a male and female. So those two fish coexist and, and live peacefully in a, in a tank. If you want one, you order direct from Poma Labs, which has adopted the growing business model in aquarium keeping of buying direct. And so people can buy these fish direct from you. Right. Go to pomalabs.com, and it's, uh, we have all the angel fish available right there to buy. Just click on, click on the link, buy the fish right there, and we ship them overnight from Florida to you. 
So there it is. There's a look at a new way to buy angelfish for your aquarium. And an angelfish, if you really want, it can cost just about $6,000. So, Matt, good luck with the project. Thank you, John. Thanks. All right. And everybody, I appreciate you uh, tuning into this FinCast. Please click around the channel. We've got lots and lots of things for you to look at on the marine and the freshwater side. I do appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next FinCast.